Evolution of the electric power grid At the beginning of 20th century, more than 4,000 individual electric utilities operated in isolation from each other. As the demand of electricity grew, especially after World War II, utilities began to connect their transmission systems. These connections allowed utilities to share the economic benefits of building large and often jointly owned electric generating units to, have to serve their combined electricity demand at the lowest possible cost. Interconnection also reduced the amount of extra generating capacity that each utility had to hold to ensure the reliable service during times of peak demand. Over time, three large interconnected systems evolved in the United States. Sources of Electricity Electricity comes from various sources and types of providers. The origin of the electricity that consumers purchase varies. Some electric utilities generate all the electricity they sell using just the power plant they own. Other utility utilities purchase electricity directly from other utilities, power marketers, and independent power producers or from a wholesale market organized by regional transmission reliability organization. Electricity generation, transmission, and distribution. Electricity is delivered to consumers through a complex network. Electricity is generated at power plants and moves through a complex system, sometimes called grid, of electricity substations, transformers, and power lines that connect electricity producers and consumers. Most local grids are interconnected for reliability and commercial purposes, forming larger, more dependable networks that enhance the coordination and planning of electricity supply. Here at the picture, we, we see st we, it shows that power plant generates electricity, and through transformer steps up voltage for transmission in the transmission lines carries electricity long distances to neighborhood transformer steps down voltage and to distribution lines carry electricity to houses and transformers on poles step down on electricity before it enter houses. So that is the flow of electricity, transmission, and dis distribution. The reason why power is transmitted at high voltage and lower current through long distance. The primary reason that power is transmitted at high voltage is to increase efficiency. As electricity is transmitted over a long distances, there are inherent energy losses along the way. High voltage transmission minimizes the amount of power loss as electricity flows from one location to the next. How the higher voltage, the higher the voltage, the lower the current. The lower the current, the lower the resistance loses in the conductors. And when resistance loses, energy loses are low also. Electrical engineers consider factors such as the power being transmitted and the distance required for transmission when determining the optimal transmission voltage.